Have a good time. Say hello to the camera. Hello. What was your favorite part of Tokyo? Disney. Um, you know. That's so hot. All the like old stuff, going through like the Swiss Family Treehouse and uh, Country Bear Jamboree. In Japanese. Why did I put this in my mouth? And right obviously Pooh's Honey Hunt. <coughs> you guys, it's so hot. I have a dabbing tissue to dab my mustache. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel or welcome to it if you've never been here today's video is going to be a touch different Well, not that different than the last two videos I uploaded because I am back from Tokyo Disney and I wanted to do a Tokyo Disney land slash Disney Sea haul it's, it's too loud to run the air while I film so this is my life right now What I should really call this is an Alice in Wonderland haul because Tokyo Disney was lit with Alice in Wonderland stuff And if you don't know that is my absolute favorite Disney movie one of my favorite things of all time Something just rolled and hit me in the hip. It isn't all Alice stuff, but it's 80% uh, Alice stuff So just be prepared just wanted to you know let you know But yeah, I'm gonna shut up and get into it because it's really hot and I want this to be over as soon as possible Isn't that fun for you first things first is I got these ears which are really cute and I kind of ruled out buying any more ears a while ago because I have my like original pair of mini ears or whatever Mickey mini ears whatever you want to call them just like the red Bowie if you follow me on Instagram you've seen them a million times I've had them for like since high school so they're really worn in and really comfortable and then I'm um, a couple Halloween's ago which they discontinued them so I'm really glad I bought them but I bought the poison apple ears so between those two I'm like I don't really need any more ears but I saw this lavender purple sparkly bow and I don't even know if they have this at Disneyland and I don't care. I bought it there because number one, stuff there's a little bit cheaper than it would be here, especially food, which was awesome. But every time I wear these, I'll think about, I got these in Disneyland Tokyo, which is freaking cool. So I purchased these and I'm just gonna wear them for the rest of the video. They're also like bigger than my other ones, which I kind of like, um, but they're really cute and the purple's my favorite color, so. I got these. <laughs> I'm just gonna do the Alice in Wonderland stuff first. A lot of this is from the park. We went to Disney Sea and we also went to Tokyo Disneyland, like the, I, I think that's what it's called, just Disneyland Tokyo. It's not called a, like a Magic Kingdom or anything. So some of this is from both of those parks and then they also had like Disney stores, which is way different from the Disney stores we have here. So it's just a mixture of all of that, but all of it was purchased in Tokyo. This I got in the park. These bags I got in the Disney store in their downtown Disney area, which I don't remember what it's called. It's something in Japanese, obviously. But look at this adorable book bag. Like I fainted when I saw it. It says this way to Wonderland and the Wonderland is pink writing and it just has Alice on it, the Cheshire cat, a baby oyster. They are lit with baby oyster stuff, you'll see. Which is, I love it. It's so random and cute. Dinah and then some of like the door, that's not the actual door now, but it's a little door. And then some hearts and some card things. But the inside of this bag was the real winner. I'm gonna show you a close up, but oh my God. It's just basically teacups, teapots, the doorknob and baby oysters. It's so cute. And this would be big enough to like fit my laptop if I'm like going out for the afternoon. I don't know. I don't care what I'm gonna put in this. I just had to have it, so that's what it was. And this was about 15 bucks. I feel like here this would be 30 bucks, so great. I also got this little bag, which I'm still kind of on the fence about, because like I, it's a very small bag and I don't know what I'm gonna use it for. But again, I was kind of like, I don't care. I never would ever see this in America and I need to have it. But it's this really cute, like tiny pink bag and it has a baby oyster and the doorknob and it has these cool, like big pearl studs across the top. And it says curiouser and curiouser. It's just really cute and I have no regrets actually in buying this. I don't know what I'm gonna put in it because it's so small, but um, I love it. And the inside is just plain and normal, but it does snap shut, which is nice. I got a couple more baggy type deals. This I bought and I wasn't sure if I was gonna give it to my sister or keep it, and I'm still not sure, but I had to have it. It's just a really cute little cosmetics canvas case, but it has um, Alice on it. It's the scene where the white rabbit's clock is like erupting. So it has a bunch of characters on it. It's really cute. It says Disney Alice in Wonderland on the back and um, it's just black on the inside, which would be nice for makeup, but it's a nice Nice canvas bag which I thought would wash really nicely um, and I just you know what I had to have it it was really hard being there because there's a ton of Alice in Wonderland stuff that like I just needed to buy but the minimalist side of me is like Amy you won't ever use that but so like it was a fine line of what I will and won't use this uh, I will have to find a use for but it's a little coin purse but it's like this really nice like pink leather looking type deal with baby oysters all over it which this is probably my favorite purchase I wish it was like a cosmetics bag or something but I will find a way to use this it has these really cute like big pink pearl type things gold hardware just a little coin purse and it was like eight bucks like 
Yes, I got one of these for my sister too. So much baby oyster stuff. <laughs> I got some like stationary bits, of course. I got these really cute um, Tokyo Disneyland Alice in Wonderland post-its, which, which at least I think they're post-its. Oh, this is not a post-it. Oh no, I don't know what this is. I need to open this right now. This was only like under $3. It's telling me to prop this up. So it like sits like, she's so cute. She's in her little teacup. But what, is it a post-it or no? Okay, not a post-it. They're just little, um, like, little pieces of paper. But it wants you to set them up like this on your desk. So she sits up. That I didn't even know that. I thought they were post-its. I'm kind of upset they're not post-its. <laughs> I will totally use these, and they're really cute. I'll show you in a close-up. But it's just her sitting in her little teacup and their little um, tear-off pieces of paper. So super cute. And along the same lines, I got this little pad of paper. It just says Alice in Wonderland. It's got her and Dinah on the front. And then um, you just kind of flip through it, and it's all these different... Well, actually, I think there's only two different designs. But again, they're just tear-out paper sheets. So you have this one where it's like purple, and she's in the corner with Dinah, and and then the one towards the end, it's just her with some flowers on the bottom. And it's like striped. It's really cute. So I just thought this would be cute for my planner or something. Or just because it's Alice in Wonderland themed and I needed to have it. I got this really cute kind of like little folder that I also thought of my planner when I bought this. Um, but it's got her painting the roses red. And it's got um, a bread butterfly and a rocking horse fly. And the little card painting with her. And it's just really cute. So I actually kind of want to open it. Like obviously I don't read or speak Japanese. So I had no idea what this was. But it looked like a folder. Let's actually see if I was right. <laughs> Because I was wrong about the damn post-its. Okay, so I was right about it being a folder. Which, so this would be perfect for little sticker sheets. How freaking cute. And again, it says Tokyo Disney Resort, which I love that it like says that on there. So not that I'll ever forget where I got it, but it's just cool. And then last for stationary bits, I got this little pen, which I kept in the packaging because it's really cute packaging. I'll show you in the close up. It just says Alice all over it, but I also liked like the, well, I don't know what you call this, like the main cushiony part of the pen. It's like different striped colors. And um, the pens we took from the hotel in Tokyo were lit. So I'm hoping this pen will be lit as well for my planner and whatnot. Oh, it's a Dr. Grip. It looks like a nice ass pen, but it was, how much was this? I think it was like $2.50. I'm not sure. But yeah, so that's the last little stationary bit. This is super random, but this is a tissue box that I saw in a convenience store and it was under $2 and I really contemplated getting it. I'm like, how the hell are you going to get that home? But I was like, Amy, figure it out because this will make you so happy when you look in the bathroom. It's just basically an Alice in Wonderland tissue box, um, which we just ran out of tissues before I started filming this. And I was like, yes. So it's just really cute. And um, yeah, so I'll show you in the close up. I think I'm definitely going to leave it on this side though. because She's sitting there making her flower crown. It says, drink me. It's just really cute. Okay, now getting into the dishware slash kitchenware stuff, which some of this is Alice, but most of it is not. Starting with this Winnie the Pooh rice scoop, which I love this so much. It is so cute. Bradley and I are big rice eaters. His whole family is big on like making white rice and we have a rice cooker, which has a scoop, but we saw this and I had to have it. So it's basically just the shape of a normal rice scoop, but Pooh is like holding on. It's kind of like he's holding on to the, um, what is he holding on to? Like the balloon when he's like the little black rain cloud that episode. It's really cute. I love the bright yellow color and it was very cheap and again on his little butt it says Tokyo Disney. In that same shop which it was, it's because of the Pooh's Honey Hunt ride which I think besides the Queen of Hearts banquet hall which I Instagrammed a ton of pictures of it's just basically an Alice in Wonderland themed restaurant that like is lit with Alice in Wonderland decorations and characters and I just sat in there for over an hour while they were riding a scary ride I didn't want to ride and I just it was the best. I'm so happy I got to experience that in real life. I didn't even know it existed until I was like researching Tokyo once I knew we were going. It was amazing. So now I just need to do the Alice in Wonderland maze in Paris. But besides that restaurant and just the Alice in Wonderland love in Tokyo in general, my favorite ride was um, Winnie the Pooh's Honey Hunt. Holy crap, which I vlogged that ride in my Disneyland Tokyo vlog, which I'll link up in the corner. Both of my vlogs are already up, um, but that ride was, it's incredible like was worth the 11 hour flight alone like it is so good technology is amazing it's unlike anything i've ever ridden i love the poo ride we have here in california but now it's like nope let's burn it down let's put in this other ride but when you get out of that ride you go into this whole like poo themed gift shop they had this series of bowls with like piglet tigger poo but the smallest one was rue and i thought that was so cute you know my obsession with small bowls and how often do you see rue merch i had to have it didn't really find any mugs we loved but we did 
hid by a bunch of kind of like glassware. I actually spotted these two and immediately was like, Bradley's gonna love those. And then Bradley looked at them and he's like, yeah, we're buying them. So we did. So the first one is this Donald Duck cup. They love Donald Duck at Disney, mainly at Disney Sea. A lot of Donald Duck stuff at Disney Sea. Um, but it's just this really cool cup. It's got a bunch of Donalds on it, his little tail. And then it says Donald Duck since 1934 and then Tokyo Disney Resort. And I just liked the shape of this. I thought it was really cool. And then along the same lines, kind of a nicer glass. I do wish we got the mini one as well. I do regret that, but it's okay. But it just says Tokyo Disney Resort and it's got Mickey on it. And it's this like darker gray brown, nicely shaped glass. And I just thought those were really cute and they were cheap. And we amazingly got all of our glass for home without anything breaking. Couple more things. I got this little Alice in Wonderland dish, which is just basically her in the maze running from a couple of cards. It's really cute. I don't, I'm not positive what I'm gonna do with this. I think it would be a good like ring holder by my bed, um, but I just had to have it. It's just a little plate and I got one for Katie, my sister as well. I'll find a use for it. And then last but not least, I picked up this teacup and saucer set. It is Alice in Wonderland themed and it is amazing. The teacup is white with pink straw and it has her running from the White Rabbit, King, Queen, and some cards. And then on the back, it says Alice in Wonderland in this really nice font. And it's just a really cute little teacup, kind of like a fancier teacup set. And then the little plate that goes under, this is mainly why I bought it. It's just a little plate with stripes. It has the card symbols around it, hearts, and then in the center, it's the Cheshire Cat. And it's just really, really cute. And I don't know if I'll ever use it and I don't care because it's that cute. <laughs> but okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. That is it for my Tokyo haul. Again, if you want to see those vlogs, I'll have my Disney playlist linked up there. I have a bunch of Disney vlogs, but the Tokyo vlogs will be in there as well, as well as linked down below. But I'm so happy to be back and filming. Leave me your video requests down below because I'm gonna get back into the swing of things. So let me know what you wanna see. I'll have my little face up here if you want to subscribe and I'll have some videos and playlists you can click down here. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.